Okay, now it's time to find the inverse of uh, the key to the Hill cipher. So I picked a 3 by 3 matrix and I'm working mod 26, okay? I'm working mod 26, so I'm going to try to find the inverse of this key. I'll be using the row reduction uh, method, so I don't have to calculate the uh, determinant of the matrix K to even check whether it has a, an inverse or not, because the process will tell me whether it has an inverse or not. Let me divide this by so that I can get more space. All right, so the first process, the first thing is to uh, join the identity matrix to the right of the matrix that I have. So I will put 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and do a row reduction to, to get the identity on the left side of this big matrix, and then whatever is on the right side becomes the inverse of my original matrix. Okay, so for the first process, for the first step, I look at the first column and that I see that there is a one here. I'll leave that there and then change this ones to zeros. Fortunately for me, this is a zero, so I'll subtract two times of that row from the third row and put it in the third row so that I get a zero. Okay, so the new third row is the old third row minus twice of the first row. And that gives me the matrix 1, 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 4, 0, 1, 0, 2 times 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus twice of 3 is negative 3, 0 minus 2, 0, and 1. Now, I'm done with the first column. Look on the second column, and this is going to be my pivot element. So I'm going to use that to make, to change this to a 0 and this to a 0. First process is easy. I will subtract the second row from the first row and put it in the first row. So the new row one will be the old row one minus two, minus row two. That gives me one. One minus one is zero. Three minus four. One. Zero minus one is minus one, and zero. And now this third row will be the old third row minus twice of the second row so that I get zero here. I'll just leave the sec second row as it is. And now I'll subtract twice of this row from that row so I get a zero here. So zero minus zero, two minus two, Negative 3 minus 7 minus twice of 4 is negative 3 minus 8, negative 2, 0 minus 2, and 1. Now my second column is fixed. I'm happy with that. I'll fix the third column by looking at the third row in this pivot element. Let me get rid of the minuses first, okay? Multiply them by minus, just only the third row. Zero, zero, eleven, two, two, minus one. Now what I will do is try to get one here at this spot. What I'm, how I do that is I will multiply the whole row by the inverse of 11. Multiplicative inverse of 11 more 26 happens to be 19. Okay, so I'm going to be using 19. More like multiplying it by 1 over 11. That this is 
modular arithmetic so I'm gonna multiply it by L by 19 um, that will give me 1 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 0 1 4 0 1 0 0 0 11 times 19 is 1 2 times 19 is 38 38 and minus 19 let me convert this to more 26 okay this is big number so I'm just gonna change them to more 26 so I get 1 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 0 1 4 0 1 0 0 0 1 more 26 this is 12 and that's 12 and this is 7 all right so next I'll be using this pivot element or this row to change that so I get a zero here so I'll just add so the new row one will be the old row one plus row three okay so that will give me zero 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 one plus twelve is thirteen minus 1 plus 12 is 11 and then a 7 the second one I will add or subtract 4 times of this row from that row so let's do it carefully 0 minus 0 1 minus 0 4 times 4 minus 4 will be 0 0 minus 4 times 12 is minus 48 because 4 times 12 is 48 1 minus 48 is minus 47 and 0 minus 4 times 7 is 28 so minus 28 and this one so I'll keep them the way they are so what I just did is I subtracted oh, that was a mistake this is supposed to be a one I subtracted this row from that row to get the first row and then I subtracted four times of this row from that row so the new second row is the old row two minus four times row three all right so the inverse is now this matrix k inverse is the matrix 13 11 7 negative 48 negative 47 negative 28 12 12 7 but I don't like this giant numbers in this negative so I'm going to change it to more 26 to 13 11 and 7 and negative 48 is 4 more 26 and this guy is 5 more 26 and negative 28 is negative 2 more 26 which is 24 more 26 and we have 12 12 7 and that's the inverse of your key matrix K all right okay thank you and this is how we calculate um, the inverse of uh, name by n matrix mod uh, name by n matrix mod n